Hello all. For all those who have entered second year preclinical conservative endodontics, the first topic to be taught is GV Black's classification. So before starting with your cavity preparation, your staff members will be asking you to by heart this and recite may conduct a viva on this. While preparing cavity preparation, they can also you ask questions before signing. This is common. But before by hearting GV Black's classification, I feel it is better and it is must to understand and then learn. So instead of blindly by hearting, let us understand with pictures in this slide, in this presentation and that too within 5 minutes. And so before moving on to the classification, so you should know the anatomical terms used to describe a tooth. This is mandibular first molar and this is maxillary first molar. For example, uh, consider this as the side where the tongue comes. So for mandible you would call it as lingual and for maxilla you call it as palatal aspect. Mesial side is the side towards the midline and distal is away from the midline. And buccal side is the side which faces the cheek. You can also call it as labial side when it comes to the anterior teeth. Since it is a posterior teeth we are calling it as buccal side. And the biggest cusp, some basic concepts about each teeth. Biggest cusp here is mesiopalatal. This is the oblique ridge uh, which connects the distobuccal cusp and the um, mesiopalatal cusp. And uh, the buccal aspect of uh, mandibular molar has three cusps. Max uh, lingual aspect has two cusps. So, and you should also know these two terms, pit and fissure. Pits are all pinpoint depressions as you could see here. And the fissures are all deep clefts and defects from imperfect fusion of enamel of dental lobules. While developmental grooves, when there are improper fusion, uh, these fissures are formed and these are seen in occlusal aspect of the posterior teeth and lingual aspect of the anterior teeth. So let us move to the proper GV Black's caries classification. Dental caries, according to GV Black, morphologically occurred in these common spots. Depending on the uh, frequency of occurrence, he had ordered it into six sites. See the first classification. Class 1, the dental caries occurs on the occlusal surfaces of molars and premolars. It follows the pitten fissures usually. And occlusal two-third of the buccal and lingual surface of the molar. That is this aspect, but not the cervical third or the gingival third. And you should also know that for uh, tooth, this is the occlusal one third, this is the middle third, and this is the cervical third. So, occlusal two third includes this part. So, the buccal fissure may extend like this in the occlusal aspect, and that is also involved in class one. Lingual surface of the anterior teeth. As I said, the pitten fissures are seen in the lingual uh, aspect also, lingual aspect of the anterior teeth. So, when the uh, occlusal when the occlusal caries extends buccally. We call it as buccal extension and when it ends, extends lingually, we call it as class 1 with lingual extension. Moving on to class 2, proximal surfaces of the molar and premolar that is the posterior teeth are involved in class 2. When there is mesial and occlusal involvement, it is mesio-occlusal. When there is distal and occlusal involvement, it is disto-occlusal. When there is both mesio-occlusal and distal involvement, it is called as MOD. Moving on to the class 3, proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth but that does not involve the incisal angle. So this is the incisal angle, this part is the incisal angle, it is not involved, only the proximal surfaces are involved. So dental caries of the proximal surfaces of the anterior teeth are called as class 3 of uh, GV Black's classification. When the proximal surface of the anterior teeth involves the incisal angle like this. So, it is a class 4 caries. Class 5 is the gingival third or the cervical third. As I said, it is this part. So, a dental caries in this part of the teeth is called class 5 of GV black. Facial and lingual surfaces, anything can be involved of anterior and posterior teeth. The final Class, class 6, it was proposed by Simon, involving the incisal edges and the cusp tips of the teeth. That is, incisal, it is the least frequently occurring caries. 
because uh, incised cusp tips of posteriors are the last things to be affected by caries so when they are affected by dental caries it is class 6 so hope you all got an idea on gv blocks classification so let us move to the giveaway contest question for this video as you all know we are conducting a giveaway contest for handbook of important questions especially for second year bds anyone can participate but the book will definitely be useful for those who are crossing second year bds and it will contain questions on all the subjects of the second year bds uh, so the fourth question is in dental amalgam what is the name of the technique in which mercury alloy ratio is one is to one so you just collect the questions and send the answers before june 10 to us in a single mail See you soon in the next video with the next question. But before ending this video, let us revise GV Black's classification once again. Class 1 is occlusal surfaces of the molar and premolar and lingual surfaces of the anterior teeth. When involving buccal and lingual surface, it should not extend beyond the occlusal two-thirds. If it involves the buccal aspect, it is buccal extension. If it involves the lingual uh, aspect, it is lingual extension. In class 2, we have proximal surfaces of the molars and premolars. Depending on mesio or distal, it is called as mesio occlusal, distal occlusal, or mesio occlusal distal. Class 3 is proximal surface of the anterior teeth, but do not involve the incisal angle. If it involves the incisal angle, it, then it is class 4. In class 5, we have gingival third or cervical third of the facial and lingual surfaces, caries or cavity in this lesion is called class 5 class 6 was proposed by simon it involves the incisal edges and the cusp tip of the teeth so i hope you got an idea see you soon in the next video